Back now with a follow up to a coffee shop controversy in Norfolk. Another shoe has dropped in this story. We've been following this now for a few months. Back in October, we told you about the coffee tree, Mr. Wiggles. The city ordered the business to take down the inflatable advertising tool. Well, inspectors have been back and they want the owner to make more changes. Then, your side's Matt Gregory has details on this sign squabble now. Yeah, first it was Mr. Wiggles, Tom. Now the coffee tree says the city has taken issues with two signs on the outside. And it begs the question, what signs can they have? Remember Mr. Wiggles, the mascot who welcomed people to the coffee tree, then welcomed controversy from the city of Norfolk. Mocha latte. Figured just to play, play nice, I'd take him down and, you know, for the new year, and then we put a different open sign up. Owner Gabe Rapisardi went back to basics, an open sign. Put that there so that people can see coming from, from Colonial that way and coming from Colonial this way. Business brewed as usual inside the coffee tree until last week. Nikki Bennett worked behind the counter and sometime before noon a city inspector came in looking to see their permits. Came over here, climbed on the ladder, got up in the box where we keep our paperwork, um, you know, and, and found it for him. Bennett says he found nothing wrong with the coffee tree's paperwork but their signs. And then he went on to, um, you know, to complain to us about our flashing signs and, and the signs out front and how we were, you know, we're not permitted to have those. The coffee sign in the front window and the new open sign drew complaints. He said um, if it's not taken care of, you know, he can come back and, and find us and it will be addressed again. A city spokesperson said this about the coffee tree. The open sign flashes and scrolls. The owner knows he can't have this type of sign. We never told the owner he would be fined. In addition, we don't expect the sign to be removed, just not flash or scroll. These scheduled visits are done with the owner and part of our special exception process. We're not just showing up. I mean, I had no idea they were coming. Rapisardi says he doesn't get it. If people don't know we're here or they don't know when we're open, um, they're just going to drive by. A sign of frustration in Park Place. We've reached out to the Coffee Trees Council representative, Dr. Teresa Wibley. We want, I wanted to see if there was anything the city council can do for this shop, and we'll bring you any updates when they become available. Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.